What's up guys, Kill Killer back here with the final review of the Season 4 Heroes. We're going over the 5 stars. Um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the content. Um, we'll jump right into it with the one of the features, which is Elizabeth. Um, before I get started, I guess, on this video, the one thing I don't like is that they kind of released all the good guys right off the rip. I didn't like that. Like, I guess Fenrir, I guess I might have said it right. Yeah, Fen. maybe I did say it right. No. In season three, I felt like they released a lot of heroes that we didn't, A, even get to talk to, and then B, um, heroes that weren't really a part of the storyline. Like, they kind of released a little bit more mix to me. Like, this one seems like it's all... All the heroes that we're starting with, I, I, I didn't like that. I wish there would have been like some progression with them. Kind of like season two. Season two was like, hey, we got to where everybody was. And so, I don't know. Maybe we'll, maybe this is how that's going because we're starting in their area. So, maybe this is on par with that, but I don't know. Let's start with Elizabeth. That's easy to pronounce. <laughs> Five-star red hero uh, from season uh, four. Um, she's a monk. She has a fight. She her damage is fifty percent or fifty damage for the um, special family bonus tile. Okay, cool. Her passive will give you an additional buff for the first three buffs of one turn. Okay, so she starts off pretty defensive. I think that's defensive. I think the increase of a buff or the deep the 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 reduction of a debuff is kind of defensive defensive i think monk is a defensive talent and then the family bonus that that's all offense so she would be two defense one offense as far as my, my opinion um widow's kiss average deals 175 damage to all enemies summons a spider fiend for all enemies so if it's a if it's a minion fiend if it's a fiend on the end of it it's going to attach to you if it's a minion i guess it'll say minion a fiend is attached to you and a minion is attached uh, excuse me a minion is attached to your defense a fiend is attached to their team so fiend goes to enemy minion goes to your team so okay that's that's kind of unique uh for all enemies the fiend damages the target with 43 percent attack every turn the spider fiend absorbs health and uh disappears when it absorbs when it absorbs health equal to 28 percent so three of these is 60 or 84 84 percent of your total health if you have three of these on you if she gets this off three times and they stay on you you're dead <laughs> until you can until they release something that cleanses the fiends she goes off three times you're dead all right equal to 28% of the target's max health. The Spider Fiend gives negative 20% mana generation for its owner for as long as the owner has Spider Fiend. This effect cannot be cleansed. Wow. Elizabeth's kind of tough. I'm not going to front. Her stats look good too. I, I don't know that you wouldn't want to make this chick a uh, red tank right now because i mean look 1448 health the 753 right off the rip she's a monk you know she's got the defensive set up uh she de she increases her her buff yeah she's strong that's a strong that's a strong woman right there that's strong um that's impressive her 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 skill special skill is is definitely impressive i'm liking her for a red tank right now i can see that being pretty pretty good so i don't know uh looks like i've had the volume up too loud because i see the audio jump into the red let's see if this reduces it that's a little better not much though um wow all right so next we've got philippe's fog i'm guessing that's philippe's fog i'm gonna go with philippe's um he comes in as a fighter okay 50 damage to her the random ruin and his passive is a negative 20 to that uh first three specials so i would say fighter class is kind of offensive because you come back to life and then that's offensively and this is a defensive passive so two offensive one 
one defensive. Or no, two, yeah, two offensive, one defense. I feel like fighters offensive, right? Because you come back to life. So it increases your ability to attack. Because you could die right off the rib. It's not defensive. I'm going with I'm going with that's an offensive buff. Fighter, I think, is an offensive buff. So you have two offensive passive, one defensive passive. Sweet. All right. Man, let's see. Valiant Lunge. I think I said that right. Uh, dispels buffs from the target. So he dispels first. Sweet. So similar to Kage. Um, that's always good. Uh, deals 420 damage to the target. That is strong. Uh, the target gets a 58 defense against nature for four turns. So this is new. The 58 is higher than Evelyn's. Evelyn's, I want to say, is like a 40-something or 54. So it's, it's a higher damage. Let's look just to make sure because that's important to note that we're, we're, we're stepping into the phase of a new element um, of increased so yeah, 54. So we got another 4% on the nature damage, which is not much, but that might be who you replace Evelyn with. And compared to um, the season three guy right there, Omar, he started. He starts with um, he gives you a 54 as well. So now you're got jumped into 58. So that's cool. So you know that's that's a 4% increase on the on the green tiles. And that's always good. I'm, I'm not saying it's, it's a it's a game changer, but you know, like I said before in the last video, inches, not miles. So this is an inch, and the more offense. Um, sweet. Let's get into Doctor Moore, Moria, Moria, Doctor Moria, Moria. I'm I'm jacking it up. Whatever. Um, so he's a paladin. That's defensive. Offensive of 50 per tile. Special. Is at negative 20% for the first three specials. So I would say that's defense. He's got two defensive, one offense. Sweet. Okay. Um, blinding Wisdom. So deals 270 damage to the target nearby enemies. There's no fall off. So it's a nice, solid three hitter. Um, and it's fast. So sweet. Three hit and fast. It says the target nearby enemies get negative 34 for 35 percent accuracy i think this is the first purple that does accuracy damage for three turns chance to miss also applies to offensive special skills the effect duration is reset when the target is healed okay so your special gets that 35 percent miss and your normal damage or your normal targeting i believe and you get it refreshes as you get healed so the heal over time is going to keep refreshing the blind so that's kind of cool um i would say that's tanky that's kind of a tanky thing you go you start off and set up it's kind of like an improved drake if you ask me this is like the improved drake so he's kind of the defensive he's kind of a more defense defensive drake i would say drake is a monk and then he has a chain of attack in the uh, a defense. So there's that's cool. This guy gets the passive from Paladin, which is 25% for two turns. Uh, and then he also reduces the special damage. So if this is up and that's up at the same time, that three turns is now even less damage on him. So that's cool. And then you've got the 50 for the uh, attack when his special goes off. Um, and he's hitting three at 270, no fall off damage, and then you're blind, so you can't hit him as bad, and he can build up. I think that's cool. I like that. Um, this is well built, and it's fast, and it looks like he has the defense and the health to kind of maintain a tank or flank position. Um, this health is, is, is tripping me out because it's about 100 more than most heroes I'm used to being in the tank position. Like 1,400 health is usually a tank, but because it's a new season, I don't know. I'm sure this is going to jump to 15 or 16 before we're done with this. And this is just interesting because these haven't really tapered off. Like the 774, that's high. And the 751, I feel like, is pretty decent. Um, but this right here hasn't tapered off for this to increase. So if this tapers off and this increases, I imagine the tank of Season 4 will have somewhere between 15 and 16 K, 1,600 health. So that would be interesting. Um, this looks good. Um, shout out to Ed. Ed got two. One on a pull and one from the token so um that looks pretty good and congrats to him so i i would probably i can see people doing two around a yellow tank 
I think this would be probably pretty clutch with uh, uh, Odin tanking and then having two of him. Now, that's three Paladins, so it's kind of weird there. But if you're looking for a faster synergy than bringing red and yellow back, this would be it. Or I could see um, two of them wrapped around a, um, a Sith. That would be pretty cool, too. That's not that would be bad, and then you just have whoever on the wing. Um, but yeah, I'm liking I'm liking the first three heroes, so not bad. Nothing wrong with them. Uh, let me see if I'm going. All right, I'm going the right way. Let's get into. I want to say for for last. Let's get into Goro with the helmet on. Um, Ak Core. Oh. No, Akko Goro. Akko Goro. Which almost rhymes with Goro. Akko Goro. Akko Goro. I'm jacking that all up. I'm not trying to pronounce this. Akko Goro. Anyway. Um, Archer. So that's offensively. And then that's clearly the family bonus offensively. And then... Look at that. Three offense. I think Archer... Okay, so do we, the first one so far that I've seen that has three offensive abilities. He has a passive of increase his special for 30%. He has the family bonus, and he can bypass um, any buff. So this is the first three offensive passive um, five-star hero that I've seen, or hero of season four that I've seen. So that's interesting. Um, sweet. Um, Akogoro, or whatever, Ak, Ak, Ko, Rogue, Rog, I'm, I know I messed it up, it's Rog, it's Rog, not, it's, I'm, the, the OG has messed me up, but, um, so, Ak, Ko, Rog, Akarog, Akarog, let's go with Akarog, so Akarog, um, has Colossal Chops, Okay, so he chops, but he's not a monk. He's an archer. That's interesting, but I'm not mad at him because he's the first full offensive five-star five we've seen, which is very interesting. So Colossal Chops is fast. Uh, Rearranges the enemy position randomly. Okay, so we have uh, Cheshire Cat. Deals... 280 damage to the target and nearby enemies. Okay. I like that. And I and you know what? I like I like this as a five star. This is this I could see being very useful. This I can see being very useful in wars and raids. Um yeah, he he is I like him. That's a very unique yellow. If I had him, I would level him. Because I could see that being awesome. On a yellow team. And he hits three with Leo and um, Vivica skin out and um, White Rabbit out right now. Yeah, he could be he could be very interesting. Very interesting. But um yeah, I mean not a lot to explain there. I mean, just you know, a nice three hitter, two two eighty is higher than the other guy, so he hits harder. And he has the bypass. Yeah, he's he and I think this yeah, pure offense. Um I see him working on defense too. I mean, I might make him a flank. He's kind of got light in the health though, so maybe you make him a wing. But yeah, I like him. I like that. That was pretty unique. Uh, let's get to this chick. Yeah, here she is. Wow. How do you pronounce that? <sighs> Lee P O T A Lepiota Lepiota Lepiota. Lepiota, Lepiota, let's go with that. I don't know. Source, Source has a reduce of the mana. I'm going with that being defensive, passive right there. Uh, the, the damage on the tile, that's offensive. And reduce of the special, so defense. So defense, offense, defense. We have yet to see a straight defense, but we have seen straight offense. And I don't think we will because of the family bonus, because I'm considering that... Um, that offensively so we can get all we can get straight offense but we can't get straight defense so that's cool um defense let's see what she does um abyss abyssal incantation abyss abyssal incantation it's fast okay 
Let's see what this does. Removes all status effects and stacks from the target. Removes even status effects. A stat, a status effects in uh, status effects in stacks that are otherwise undispellable or uncleansable. Okay, so we've got the new cleanser. These are basically new cleansers. Like they're basically chameleons. Um, and I guess it'd be it's one more. I just can't think of it. Uh, deals 158 damage to the target. The target shifts into abyss ghost form while abyss ghost form the target receives 88 damage each turn while each turn while in abyss ghost form the target can't gain mana can't be healed by specials special, special kills but is immune to normal attacks special attacks status effects stacks abyss ghost form lasts four turns Last, last enemy left in the battle can't be shifted to Abyssco's form. Okay. I'm going to jump out there and say this is another paragraph. And it's probably more to unpack here, but I think this is awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight dots under her special this is the most that we've seen so far um lepiota i think is awesome if i had her i would level her for different reasons than what people are thinking this is the hero that takes somebody out the game i think she should be she's definitely offensive um to me, she's like the much improved Melosi. I know that sounds crazy, but like she will take somebody off. She basically, you can you can take the person. Like for instance, I would use her on Garnet all the time. I hate Garnet. I think Garnet is probably the most OP hero we have in the game currently. I can't stand Garnet. I think she would take Garnet out, Sith out. Um, Anybody you're struggling with, this one would be on the side, just kind of like, yep, gotcha. S see you next time. Um, that would be interesting. Sorry. Um, but, yeah, she's, she's looking awesome. I like her a lot. This is this is very interesting. Especially me running 4-1, I would almost want to keep her at the 1 position because then my 4 could cook. Um, I can see her also working with the 4-1 on the purple team but like that team would be like you would take this hero just for that fight that you don't want to fight against like kind of like i do melosi melosi shuts down but this one like is oh this is melosi shuts down um effects this one she shuts down everything and i kind of like that let me make sure i read this right again this is wild and ghost form the target's receiving 88 damage each turn, so that's cool. So four turns of 88 damage is good, and that can increase based off her attack because I would consider that a dot. So it's a new dot. It's like the ghost dot. I think that would increase. Um, correct me if I'm wrong if somebody has her and leveled her. Um, while in the Biscos form, the target cannot gain mana, cannot heal by specials, special skills, but is immune from normal attacks, special attacks, status effects, and... Stacks. It doesn't say that you can't use your special though, so that might be interesting. So maybe while in this form, you can use your special, but you can't do much else. And maybe you can still attack. I don't know. You might take somebody off the board. Um, and it doesn't say it's not cleansable, so you can possibly cleanse this. This one goes form last four turn. Abyss. Abyss. Yeah. Last. Last enemy left cannot be okay. Fine, that's fine. I don't mind that. Uh, removes all status effect. The target removes status effect. The effect stacks that otherwise are dispelled. Okay, cool. Deals and damage. This is one. This goes for target shifts and goes for Okay, so it doesn't say it's not cleansable, and it doesn't say you can't use your special. If you can't use your special in this, this is crazy. If you can't use normal attacks either, this is crazy. Um, 
I don't know how that would work on defense. On offense, this looks amazing. Um, still, even if you can use those, I still like like that you can take somebody off the board completely for four turns and dot them. And it doesn't have to have a lot of damage. I would probably build her... I don't know how to build her. Honestly, I don't know how to build her. Um, probably health attack for the dot. And then if I thought that that wasn't enough, maybe health defense. But, I mean, I'd probably go health attack right now. Uh, defense looks okay. This chick looks crazy. I like this. This is this is a very interesting hero. I don't have to... Somebody's going to have to revisit this one. This, I can see getting you in and out of a lot of trouble. Um, let's go talk about, I believe that's it for the five stars besides, yeah, the doctor. Let's go talk about the doctor because I think she's the one who's making the biggest splash so far. Um, or the professor, excuse me. Um, professor, I guess that's going to be professor for short. Linda, or yeah, Lyndon Brock. Professor Lyndon Brock. She looks professory. It's interesting that the hero she looks almost honestly guys, it looks like they just did the hero of the month and made it yellow. Like look at this. Like look how crazy she looks compared. She looks almost like they almost they just tilt they tilted the head and added the glasses and made a demon for him. But now look at her face. She looks Yeah, I wish I could compare them side by side. Yeah. That's almost the same. That's almost the same animation. <laughs> hey, turn the head straight. And it's a little bit bigger, and she's wearing a different cut, but it's almost the same animation. All right, Professor Linden Brock. So cleric um, bypass the mana. That's defensive. -y. Um, attack fifty. That's offensive. -y. This passive of added mana. I'm going with that's offensive. -y. So two offense, one defense. Not mad about that. Um, I guess though, because she's a healer, from my understanding. She might be, that might be considered offensive, offensive or defensive. -y. I don't know. I'm making up words. Whatever. All right. Uh, glorious Grace. Sweet. Slow. Not mad about that. Cleanses status elements from all enemies. Boosts health and of allies by 200. If health exceeds max HP... Addition as a temporary, it's added as temporary HP. So, I don't know if that's a shield or if that's like Heimdall, but looks like it's a buff. All allies, all allies health is boosted by 600 HP over four turns. The effect duration is reset if the target receives status element. I don't know what's going on. Let's see. Cleanses status element of all allies. So she's a cleanser. Okay, cool. Bet. She'll remove your debuffs. Cool. Boost health of all allies by 200. So health boosts. I don't know if that's adding to your health, like maybe a shield. I'm thinking that's a shield, but I don't know. If health exceeds max. So if, you, if she heals you and exceeds max, you get 200 health. Is added as temporary HP. It doesn't say shield, so I'm kind of confused there. I imagine that's the shield, but I don't know. I'd have to read a shield person. I don't have that many except Golden Bursty. Um, all allies' health is boosted by 600 HP over four turns. This effect duration is reset if the target receives status ailment. So if you debuff while this is going on, it, it possibly continues to heal. <sighs> That's strong, man. I don't know. That's crazy. And she starts off with 20% off the rip. So this could get rolling right away. Um... I think that's just interesting. I don't know. This is kind of crazy. Um... If it works the way I want, I gotta, I gotta. Let me read Golem Bursty because I gotta see how shields work. I'm not familiar if that's, if I'm reading that right. Let's see. Golem Bursty says boosts all allies' health by 45. If need uh, additional temporary HP, so yeah, that's a shield. So it's a 200% shield if your health is maxed. Okay, so that makes sense there. All right, so you get a 200% shield if the health is maxed. Okay, sweet. 
Um. Yeah. 600 HP over four turns. That's strong. That's the high. I want to say that's the highest in the game right now. I don't know if anybody who does more heal over time than that. Um. This probably makes her the best slow healer in the game. Yeah, especially because she starts off with a passive and then they can just roll. So, like, if you catch a yellow diamond with some yellow around right off the rip, she could go ahead and go off. Not everybody got hit or they healed up to a degree. Now they got this shield. That's crazy. So, yeah, that's strong. That's a really strong healer. That's that's very interesting. Um, I'm liking it. Let me see. Two eight eight oh six. Let me see. Is anybody higher? Eight oh six. Eight oh seven. Eight oh seven. Eight oh six. Oops. Let me see. Um. Eight oh six. And we have another 806. Okay, so power creep is there. 806 is about 20 points higher than your Hero of the Month. And it's about 10 points higher than your Season 3 Heroes. So, just know... No, excuse me, 15 to 17 points higher than your season here, season three heroes. So just know that you're increasing about 15 to 20 from last year to this year. So big jump. That's the part I don't like because it's just making your team so much stronger. And a lot of people say, well, the boards don't reference team power. BS. Team power definitely references how strong your board is. Um, I've been playing a long, long time. That's why people don't bring three stars to five-star fights. Because team power is important. Also, the status, the stats are important too. So, but yeah, guys, um, I love all the heroes, but they didn't have to be twenty points higher than everybody we already have. They could have been five points. I'd have been. I mean, five points would have been just fine. Like they could have started at seven ninety. Nobody would have cared or started at 792, 793, 806, 807, like, all, that's just such a jump. It's a big jump. I know people are like, it's not that big of a deal. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. Um, it's a big deal. Like, this is, that's roughly the low, that's probably the lowest seven, like, yeah, I want to say, right, there you go. And that's what that's five points on them. So seven, seven fifty-two is season one, and we're at eight oh seven. What's a fifty-plus point jump? I'm not going into the math because that's just a lot of jump. But it's a lot of jump. It's a lot of jump, and I think it's too much jump. Um, that's my problem with this with this with the five star heroes that have been coming out. It's just too much jump, too much jump in power creep. I don't even know why we have team power. Personally, I think you should just take out team power and let the stats do what they do. Um, that way, my conspiracy theorist brain doesn't go to where hey, I think the team power makes a difference on the board and raids and wars. It does. So, yeah, but I, I would get rid of team power and just do I guess the war hero. War, war, war scores based off health, which is, I think it is still anyway. But yeah, that's all I got, guys. Killer, killer out. Um, hope you enjoyed this series of the season four heroes review. Um, three star will be out, I think, at midnight tonight. So that's the 27th. I think I got the four star scheduled for the 29th. And then this one will be, I guess, on the second or something like that. Maybe the first. Peace.